Hello, my tubies. This is Sheila True Love. I have on a tank top, so don't for a one eye out of a minute think that I'm sitting here in the buff. No, I have on a tank top. I feel really comfortable walking around the house with tank tops and my um, shorts on. So anyway, today's topic for discussion is erectile dysfunction. Now, there's a reason why I chose to talk about this topic uh, here today. And that's because, as you know, I think I made it clear that I have my... <clears throat> I know my hair looks a little crazy. I just wanted to get this video out there really quick. Um, the topic for today is erectile dis dysfunction. Like I said, uh, the reason why is because I have a email address where... Uh, uh, the, the Teletubbies, Tubies, or people who are here on YouTube can send me an email and ask me any questions and I will answer your questions as thoroughly and as professionally as possible. I uh, My email address is SheilaTrueLove7 at AOL.com and if you go on my homepage here you'll notice that I have my PayPal icon and for a donation of $7 I will answer the each and every one of your questions <clears throat> in a timely fashion and I do the research I uh, the information comes from PhDs those who have PhDs those who have their masters I do the research I make a compilation of the answers and I will answer each and every one of your questions I assure you you are never going to find someone who is as that, that reasonably priced now, like I said, we're talking about erectile dysfunction today because I had <clears throat> received several uh, emails coming from females who are concerned. And I also wanted to stress the importance of not being so shallow and superficial. That's important. Now, one of the females wrote, my husband and I have been married for a year and a half. We had a brief courtship and were married after just six months because everything felt so right. Since the wedding, sex has been very infrequent and I have a very high and a healthy sex drive, but everything I've done to fix this problem has failed. I try to initiate, but he says it turns him off. I dress seductively. I touch him and I kiss him. I hint in every possible way and it still doesn't lead to anything. <clears throat> I worry that he has performance anxiety because he keeps losing his erections before we are even finished. So I've suggested that we try different ways of being intimate, but he's still not interested. This ultimately leads me to begging which of course that's not successful either. I have to have discussions with him regarding, I bet yet I've tried to have discussions with him regarding what I can do to help the situation, but that only angers him. And he ends up not talking for a while. We end up not talking for either a week or several days. And I've asked him, I've even made a suggestion that he exercise with me. Maybe that will help to increase his libido and I've even suggested that he goes and maybe see a doctor. <clears throat> I wish that sex wasn't important to me, but it is. And I find myself wondering if I should just be single. He knows this is a big deal for me, but does nothing about it. I am at a complete loss and feel myself drifting away from him each and every day. Now, this is some a letter from... A 37-year-old female. 37. That's young. Another letter. I just don't seem to do it for him. In addition, when we do have sex, he isn't hard. This embarrasses him. So, of course, because he's embarrassed, he doesn't even want to try anymore. This female is 26. God, you would think these problems come from older people, but these are young females. 30s and 20s, you know we're looking hot. Next, my husband, she says, hi, my husband is just not interested in sex. He has no desire for me. Unless we go away and stay at a hotel 
or it is a special occasion, he will even still do anything to avoid the sex. When we do have sex, he won't touch certain parts of my body. He doesn't like to kiss. He won't even say, I love you. I feel so worthless, ugly, and undesirable. I am obsessed by the, the lack of sex in our relationship. When I bring it up, he gets angry and says that he should just leave and that all I want to do is create drama where there is none. Most days I just wish I could run I just wish I could run away and not feel anymore. I am dying inside and I don't know how much longer I can hang on. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Another woman says, hello, my husband's libido has been at rock bottom for years. Always believe it, it would get better. This is the reason why I stayed. I stuck it out. But now I feel I am losing the best years of my life as well as my libido. Am I not allowed to feel feminine? Am I not allowed to feel sexy? We have sex three to four times a year. He orgasms upon penetration. That leaves me with nothing but a wet butt and want, and leaving me wanting more. That leaves me with nothing but a wet behind and a cleanup job and a good silent cry in the bathroom. Now he knows I'm upset, yet he refuses to get any help. The next lady says, Hi, I am attractive. I am very lonely since my children all are grown and have left home. I desperately need to fill the arms of a loving man around me once again. I'd give my eyes and my teeth for some good sex just once or twice a month. Now let me stop here with this. You have so many females who feel that there's something wrong with them. It must be something wrong with me. Am I not sexy enough? Is my breast not perky enough? Is my butt not big enough? Am I not? Am I too fat? Am I too skinny? Blah, 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 whatever. However, statistics shows that erectile dysfunction, it affects over 70 million men in the United States. Let me repeat that. 70%, 70 million men in the United States alone. This is why I tell men that they are the last, they are the last ones on this earth who should be shallow and superficial. When it comes to what a woman's body looks like and how her looks change and, and, and how, you know, um, a woman's body looks, you know, do you think that a woman would be wrong if she was to, you know, have herself a side piece or get herself a boo? Get herself a boo on the side. She got a side piece over here and a boo over here. Someone who's going to take care of her ego and her sexual needs. Would she be wrong for that? I mean, let's keep it real here. Her boo and her side piece, they can maintain an erection without artificial enhancements. Would she be wrong to say, when I met you, sweetheart, you didn't have erectile dysfunction issues. When I met you, you was hard as a lead pipe, as hard as a lead pipe. When I met you, you had no problem maintaining and keeping a decent erection. What is the problem now? You see, what men feel to realize is that they have a prostate and prostates malfunction in a large percentage of men. Let's also not forget about diabetes and high blood pressure, especially with black men who like to go around slinging penis all over the planet and, and, and having this community penis. Let's not forget about diabetes and that high blood pressure, which causes them to have to take medication that will kill any natural erection. They are always complaining that they want women to have natural this and they got to have natural that and, and this is not natural. Yeah. Well, listen, fellas, what about those natural erections? Now, let's think about women who enjoy having sex spontaneously. 
Let's say she wants to have sex over here, right in that bedroom, and then she wants to run, and she wants to have it over here in the back of the car spontaneously. We're in the middle of a drive, and all of a sudden, she's like feeling that special way, that little sexy way, and she just wants to be spontaneous and make it happen, okay? Or let's just say she wants to just be spontaneous and wake up in the middle of the night, and she wants to make it happen for her and for her man, Oop, wait, oops, we forgot. Wait, wait, we can't do that anymore. No, we can't. Because now he needs his artificial erectile dysfunction pill. And now we have to wait until the, until that pill kicks in. God knows how long that's going to be. We got to sit here and wait for that one. Okay, then. Right, we have to wait for that to kick in. And by the time that kicks in, guess what? Guess who's no longer in the mood? This is not to mention... The men who can't even take these artificial erectile or e erection pills because they may have heart issues or health issues, which prevent them from taking any type of Viagra, Levitra, Cialis, whatever. Also, what the medical professionals, they won't tell you that if you take these artificial erectile dysfunction uh, pills, it could cause damage to your heart muscles. And trust me when I tell you I know that from uh, experience. I know several men who ended up with pacemakers in their chest, in their chest, due to these artificial enhancements. My brother, who is now dead, my brother Michael, he was one of them. Now, of course, the industry is not going to tell you the truth about that because that would mean losing billions and billions of dollars. And we know this is not a, a, a million dollar industry. This is a billion dollar industry, and of course, they're not going to tell you about that. So now, would the woman be wrong for finding herself a side piece or getting herself a boo who don't need to take uh, erectile dysfunction pills? A man who can feed her ego every time she touches him or gets near to him, his soldier. It stands up and it salutes, and it salutes her naturally. The point I'm trying to make or the point I'm trying to stress here is this is the reason why men should not be so shallow and so superficial when it comes to women and what their body and their looks, how that may change. Maybe she was a size 12 or a size 10 when you met her, but she got sick or saw her health took a, a left turn. And now she has to take several medicines. We don't know. And the medicines that they have here to this day and age, a lot of these medications have steroids in it. And steroids, as you know, cause people to blow up. It puts weight on people. This is something that she can't help, just like you can't help it with your erectile dysfunction. You can't help it if your prostate malfunctions on you. You can't help it if, you know, as men age, their testosterone levels, it starts to plummet and they start to lose muscles. Now, women, as you like them nice and curvy and voluptuous and all of this and all of that, you want that feminine energy. Well, women like that masculine energy too. And the last time I checked, men, they're supposed to be muscular. Men, you're not supposed to look at their bellies and, 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 and the first thing that comes to your mind is five or six or seven months pregnant. He's supposed to have washboard abs. He shouldn't have to flex before you can see his muscles. Just look at the television. Look at the idiot box when you get a chance. Even these thin men, thin, skinny, they are muscular. They have nice washboard abs, nice tight butts, beautiful legs. Their arms are like to die for. So as men age, their testosterone levels plummet and they start to lose muscle mass along with the ability to get and maintain a halfway. We're not even going to talk about a, a, a complete lead pipe anymore. We're just talking about a halfway decent erection. Now, should women, should they do cutthroat on men because they can't achieve this? Here, listen to what some other females have sent me. <laughs> After three years together, my partner is suddenly uninterested in sex. We had our sexual up and downs. We've had them, our up and downs throughout the years. But I'm talking when we finally do have sex, 
finally, he seems to lose his erection before we are even close to being finished. I'm at my wits end and I am thinking about finding me someone else on the side. Please tell me, do you think she's wrong for wanting to step out on her marriage or wanting to cheat on her partner because he can no longer make her feel desirable? He can no longer make her feel sexy or wanted? Do you think she's wrong for that? Because if you think she's wrong for that, do you think it's wrong for a man to cheat on his partner just because her looks have changed or because her body have changed? Now, I remember uh, my ex, one of my exes who developed prostate cancer. He had to have radiation. This radiation, it kills the prostate. You might as well have it removed if you want my view. But the difference is, instead of them losing their erections immediately, like after prost having it removed, it gradually happens to them. They gradually start losing their erections, can't maintain it. Notice that they're no longer uh, ejaculating semen. Everything is doggy water. Worms and doggy water all of a sudden. You see, this is something that men keep forgetting. Karma. Do you hear that? Who is it? Who is it? Hi. It's me. Karma. <laughs> Men have got to remember this. When you're sitting around putting so much pressure, pressure on women, you have got to remember, darling. Karma? She passes, let's she she passes no one. She's coming. So anyway, my ex. Now he needs to have porno without, and I mean, some women take offense to the fact that a man could, you have to have porno in order to be able to perform sexually with me. You don't find me sexy enough. Some women could take offense to that. Me, on the other hand, if this is a necessity for this character, yeah, we're going to let me pick out the porno. She will definitely be a woman who's my complexion. She'll be close to my size. She will definitely be, maybe, more, you know, yeah, I get to pick this out. You know, it's bad enough and offensive enough that you got to use this uh, whatever outside stimulation. Okay, if, if some people, it happens, you know, things happen. But I will damn sure be the one who picks this porno out. Okay, and if that's going to be a problem for him, he could pack up and go take his little uh, erectile dysfunction and go hang out with the fantasy that he wants to go. <laughs> See ya, dude. You no, know, so these men have got to keep these things in mind when they're trying to put so much pressure on women, having women think that there's something wrong with them. Am I not sexy enough? Honey, I can show you some pictures of women who are slamming. They have amazing bodies. I could show you, if I could talk, bring you around with me around here where I live. I take the bus. I speak to women. Some women just need to talk. These women have beautiful bodies. I mean, really. And they have men and husbands who haven't touched them for eons. And it's causing these women to feel that something is wrong with them. No, sweetheart, it's not you. Because I bet you one thing. For those women who have a boo on the side and they have that side piece, they don't have no problem when it comes to, oh, let's say, rising to the occasion. Hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you briefly. This is Sheila True Love, and thank you so much for listening. And don't forget, you can send me your questions at Sheila True Love 7 at AOL.com a $7 donation, and I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions and any of your concerns. Until next time, we'll talk again. Bye for now.